Hi all, Wind here. So I'm going to do a quick video today on how we can use calculated fields to calculate duration. Now duration is a field that is derived from the task table in ServiceNow, but unfortunately it is not automatically calculating the duration of certain fields. And those fields could, could change or be different depending on the task that you're on, and we'll go into that a little bit more. Um, and I have seen quite a few solutions out there that use business rules to do this. However, there is a way to do this uh, using calculate fields um, and specifically using override functions, which makes this really great for this particular requirement. So I'm going to jump in and show how we could do this. Uh, so first of all, you can see I want to change request and I can see my duration is not calculated. Now, this could change depending on your organization's requirements, but let's just say I want to ensure that duration is calculated by the actual start date minus the actual end date. So uh, first things first is I'm just gonna go to the dictionary field or, or dictionary entry of this field, find duration, so let me Select that so I can see duration is here and I can see it's from the table task um, and essentially what I want to do is go to the advanced view so let me do that Okay, so now we can see the section has opened up called calculated field or calculated value. Now you can see it's not actually calculated. So once I select this, this opens up a script. Now I can write my script here, but be aware that if you write your script here, essentially it will work for the task table. So we could write a script right now that says if a current dot sys class name is equal to change request, uh, so i.e. looking at the task type then you know run return this uh, value and then we could do that for each of the other um, tables or required task if we want to however there is a different way to do it so right now i'm going to leave the script as is so essentially by default return nothing now if there is a value you want to return uh, globally first and then override it you can but for now we'll just return nothing so i'm just going to save this just to make that change specifically so now this field has been turned into a calculated field. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go to dictionary overrides and we're going to create a new dictionary override. Okay, and then you get to essentially pick uh, the table you want this override to occur. And you can see there's quite a few here because a lot of tables do extend from task. So let's specifically for now pick a uh, change request and I'm going to override calculation. Now this is where you would essentially put in your function or your script to work. So we are just going to paste in our script here. So I'll explain how the script works. So this field is expecting a glide date time value. So essentially we're using the out of the box uh, date diff function from glide system to essentially uh, take the current work start, which is the current actual start date uh, the field name of it anyway, and then the end date, which is the current dot work end, the actual end date of that field, and essentially return the difference between that. If it's true and it can calculate it, it will return that value. If not, it will return false, which would be nothing for this sake. I could return a default value, but for now, we're just going to keep it blank if it can't work out the difference between the two. So I'll submit that for now. Okay. And now we can see my dictionary override specifically for this change request table. So let me, so essentially that should be done now. So let's now take a quick look at our change request, our change request. So if I type in change here, I'll go to all. Okay, uh, so let's quickly do so what I want to see is everything that is filter out start dates so, or empty start dates and filter out empty end dates. And now I should see duration, as you can see. So two minutes, four minutes, that's the difference between the two here, six seconds, 53, and so on and so forth. 
So this is how you could do this out of the box. And what's great is you could add uh, the different tasks, so for incident, for uh, problem, and work out what fields you want to do with the same script. Now, just to show this doesn't, just to show it doesn't affect our uh, table. So if I go to this and I just add in duration, we can see that nothing's been calculated here. The subfields don't exist on certain incidents, so I don't think there is an actual end, uh, actual start date time or actually end date time. Okay, so there's actual end. Uh, we can check if that field actually is the same value. So if I just start this and just type in actual. Okay. So, and then let's just find out a column name so we can make sure. Let's say top. Okay, so let's work on the score start, work on the score end, which is essentially the same column name. But as you can see, this doesn't run for um, this table, this instance. So you could create a dictionary override where you do this, or you could add it on the, the script here, so it adds it by default. So just one way to do it, I think this is the best way to do it as well, because it works with the system. Please let me know if it's worked for you, or if you have any comments or, or ways to improve. Happy to help, and uh, thank you so much.